Yeah, it's uh, something that uh, you don't really expect to achieve when you first come to the footy club. Uh, I come from Victoria and uh, took took me a couple of years just to settle in and uh, start playing some good footy. So it's a, it's a it's a great to, great achievement. You're one player that really hasn't uh, suffered from the going home factor. Um, Adelaide's a place you'd, you'd like to call home for the rest of your career. Uh, the rest of my, my career for sure. Um, I've re really enjoyed my time in Adelaide. I've met some fantastic people and. Uh, you know, I've got the got a fiance here now, so it makes it even harder to go back to Melbourne. But uh, I really enjoyed here. I've I've learned a lot, and uh, you know, I still want to finish my career. Brent, did you feel you had to wait longer than most for that just that first introduction to footy when you were here? Uh, I think, um, Rich, I didn't I didn't really settle in as well as what other people do when they go into state. Um, I had a lot of homesickness. So I wanted to go home every 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 weekend. Um, See, see my family and friends and uh, uh, you know, really dug a hole for myself and didn't really get the best out of myself in the first two years. And uh, But you look back on it now, it was a, it was a good experience to go through and uh, something that I can pass on to any other interstate players that come in. Craig, you seem to make a difference, or is it just timing there that, that he seemed to have more faith in you than Gary Ayers? Yeah, Craig gave me an opportunity <coughs> uh, when Ayers, he... Uh, uh, quit the club and uh, you know Craig's been a fantastic uh, leader in my my football career and uh, you know he, he taught me taught me a lot of things uh, to play in the midfield and play down play down half back so uh, you know I owe a lot to him. There's a lot of areas in my game that I needed to work on and uh, it was more of the contested ball, hard you know going in first and uh, getting more of the hard ball. Um, I was a bit of an outside player and uh, you know I worked hard at that over I think it was 2009 pre-season um, with uh, Todd Viney. And uh, really, really knuckled down on it, and uh, you know I'm seeing some rewards for it now. You know, every every time a contract come up, I always thought about going home, and had some offers to go back home. But uh, you know, I, I've met some fam fantastic people here um, that have really helped me out, and I didn't want to let them down, and I want to be a one club player. Neil was pretty animated in the uh, in the coach's box on a couple of occasions towards the end of the game. Was there a bit of that uh, in the room when he came in? Or did he no, I think we're all disappointed. Um, you know, the way we were up by six goals at half time, it's uh, you know, it's disappointing to lose a game like that. And uh, you know, we need to we sat down and went reviewed it, and uh, we've moved on moved on now. And we've got an important game against St Kilda on Friday night now. Joel Cock may be available this week. Um, we saw how important his run is. It's just crucial. Hopefully, they can get up. Oh yeah, he, his first quarter was unbelievable uh, the other night, and uh, hopefully, he gets up to play because he's a very important player for us. And Yenchin Callanan, if that. Uh Trio's available, uh, really needed against the Yeah, especially um, Stiffy and uh, Yenchi, they're, they're run off half back and their ball use is uh, fantastic. And you know, to get to get Ian back in the team, it's fantastic for him to go, to go up forward and uh, kick some goals for us. Is there a need for any change here? I don't think so. Um, you know, Craig is a fantastic leader at this footy club, and uh, you know, we're we're sick to death of hearing about. You know, you guys writing about Craigie. Um, we know what he's like around the footy club, and you know, hopefully he can stay here for as long as he wants. Well, you look on the weekend. Our last half, you know, there was they kicked the nine in the last ten goals, and you know we could have stopped all of them goals, or we could have kicked more ourselves. Um, so, I think it's more of the players, us just uh, under underperforming, not playing to it to the level that we should. Um, so, you know, we're, we're looking forward to changing turning that around against St Kilda. What's the environment like? Very good. Very good. It's a very positive place. Um, you know, we do review the game, and we you know, there was disappointment after the game on the weekend. But um, you just got to move on in in football today. Otherwise, you just uh, you dwell on your past performances, and you don't get nowhere. The last two weeks, our um, pressure and uh, contested footy has been to a very high level. Uh, our tackling has been to a very high level. So, you know, if we knuckle down on those those three things, um, they're all the rest of our ball movement will look after itself. I think there's about 19 players from Victoria on our list. Um, so, you know, we, myself, uh, Chris Knights, and all those blokes that have been through it, we uh, help them out a lot. Um, we give them some some sound advice and uh, how to settle in Adelaide. Um, finding a girl is always handy, uh, which I found out. But uh, uh, no, look, we just we try to get the best out of them. Um, you know, if you if they want to go home, they can go home. Um, but uh, we try to uh, create the best culture at this footy club for them to stay. Brick, give us an insight as to what Nathan Van Berlo has been like in his first year as captain. 
he's uh, he's been an outstanding leader uh, at the footy club. Um, you know, I think he gets a lot of uh, heat put on him just because he's a young young captain, um, and he hasn't he has he's not to the level of a Rashudo or, or a good one yet. But um, you know, I think uh, be patient with him, and he'll be at that level very soon. We can only go by what we see out on the field, but we know the captaincy is far more than that. What's the offering internally? Internally, oh, he's a fantastic leader. He's a fantastic mentor for the young fellas. Um, what we spoke about before about he's from Perth, um, going through all that and. Um, you know the way he, he prepares himself every weekend uh, is to top top shelf, and uh, it's uh, it's it's fantastic to see him um, develop as a leader. You know, from last year to this year, he's, he's come along tenfold. Has he been harshly judged? I think so. Even you know that moment when Sheedy ranked him, you know, sixteenth and all that sort of yeah, stuff. Yeah, th- you know, everyone's got their opinion, um, and we know what he's like in this footy club, and we don't want anyone else as captain.